Hello, Overray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is time to come here to Beverly Hills because Miss Crystal Minkoff is breaking her silence and putting everything out there. She's talking about the truth behind the 14 friends, well, her truth, and she's also talking about Erica Jane moking and talking shit about her eating disorder, okay? Like last episode, honestly, it's kind of like it is not surprising anymore coming from Erica, but it was just like another discussing here from her, you know? And now Crystal Minkoff is letting us know what she really thinks about this. So we need to talk about it, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, like I was saying, Miss Crystal Minkoff, I think she's finding herself as a housewife, you know? First seasons are always a little bit awkward. It's very weird to find a housewife that from season one, it's going to be just insanely amazing, you know? And usually, when one does really good on her first season, then her second season, it's like... Mm, you know, I mean, we have Leah McSweeney, we have Jen Shaw, you know, um, Mary Cosby, many housewives that, you know, they were, they were doing very good on their first seasons, and then on their second seasons, it was just really, really bad. Now, for Crystal Minkoff, she is, she's taking a different approach, okay? She was definitely not the favorite one on, on, on her first season. You know, and on her second season, she is little by little, you know, uh, going up the ladder. And I think I appreciate that a little bit more because it's like she's not thirsty to get there right away. You know, she's just trying to keep it real and, you know, keep it like 100 of who she really is. And that's something different that we are not seeing uh, too much anymore, especially in Beverly Hills, right? Uh, like I was saying, I mean, her first season was very under the radar. Even she ha she got some drama going on for herself, but then it wasn't like really going in there. And now her second season, she's really finding who she is and her voice and her position inside this group. And honestly, to be very honest, even though she is not loud and you know weird and all of that, I can see Crystal Minkoff going on a couple more seasons, you know, because people try to compare her to Terry Mellencamp sometimes, but Terry was just plain boring, you know, she was never, like, really doing anything, and I feel like Crystal, she is way smarter than that, I, I feel like Crystal is kind of, like, playing chess with the Real House of Beverly Hills, and she will get there, I don't know, it's just a feeling that I have, so anyways, um, she has been in the middle of a storm right now she has really trying to put herself out there she had the whole drama about the 14 uh girlfriends that dropped her she had the drama with satan then she tried to get into it with garcelle i know that she's gonna get into some drama with erica jane literally we're starting to see why it's going to get there with the whole laxative comments and you know the very insensitive and tone deaf uh comments made by, by erica jane and it's it's really really gonna get there so let's start with the 14 friends so chris you know kathy hilton did a viewing party the other day because it was her return to Beverly hills that's how how you know that you have money. Like, you're literally a friend of the show and you are throwing a viewing party with press for your return. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm, I'm loving Kathy Hilton, honestly. Like, I need to be on one of these parties one day. I'm visualizing it, visualizing it. I, I'm sending it to the universe, make it happen. Because, I mean, it's, she's just kind of like the envision of money, you know? So, uh, anyways... Um, so, Crystal is there, you know, 
talking to the press and she's talking about the 14 girlfriends. We kind of knew a little bit. We did. We talk about it a lot. Um, according to Dana Wilkie and Teddy Mellencamp, she did have a big fallout with many of her girlfriends, you know, and it was like a whole group of girlfriends who dropped her at the same time, you know, and she's kind of like confirming that decision, that uh, thing. She says that she did have like some drama going on with the girls, but the drama was actually related to the show. And that's why she couldn't tell in the show what happened, because that will be breaking the fourth wall. You know, apparently, according to Crystal, some of these girls were too jealous of of her being part of the show and they decided to you know just stop talking to her and being you know um horrible human beings to her and just that's what it happened now it really kind of like makes sense a little bit with what dana wilkie's told us the first time now on the first time or the first part of the rumors that we heard was that a couple people were trying to be part of the Real House of Beverly Hills, you know? So that will check out if Crystal got the part and none the other ladies, then jealousy could get in the middle and then it will be like a bad thing right there, right? A bad blood situation. However, the other part of the tea, which we didn't ever know if it was true or not, was that Crystal was going around convincing the other women to not take the job because it, it was a horrible thing to be part of the show, because, like, it was an embarrassment to Beverly Hills, because it was, like, you know, like, not the societal thing to do to be part of Real House of Beverly Hills. But in reality, she was just taking the competition out so she could take the spot on the Real House of Beverly Hills. So now, uh, do you have to think, was she being smart or was she being sneaky and manipulative, you know? Because she was just taking out the competition. The, that's the part, you know? I'm, I'm just thinking, like, damn, I mean, that's bad, you know? Like, wow, you're going to mess people with people like that. But then you're thinking, well, she did become a real housewife. So maybe she was saying, like, fuck it, this is my gig. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to become a housewife, you know? So... And now I'm thinking, I feel that this girl is smart. You know, I feel that this girl, it's really smart and she knows how to play the game. You know what I mean? So there you have it. That's the part, first part of the T. I mean, she says, people sometimes, people, sometimes people don't want you to sort of walk out of the bubble they're used to. Um, and that's it. Now, talking about the eating disorder, okay? She said that Kyle Richards brought up Crystal then recent comments about her eating disorder, encouraged her to discuss the matter with the group. And she says, I was a little surprised. I'm the, I'm the one that posted about how I was feeling. I guess I always think the show is the show and outside of the show is my life. Like, oh, they brought it up again. And then she started talking about the whole Erica Jane situation. In response, Crystal told Entertainment Tonight, I do think that people respond to kind of uncomfortable situation differently. Some people are more empathetic, some people are awkward, and some people can be judgmental. While Crystal took Erica's comment surprisingly well, she didn't appreciate the antics toward Garcelle Boive, 14-year-old son. And uh, she says, Jax doesn't need to experience another adult screaming. Maybe I'll have a discussion later, but in that moment, it's about protection and self-preservation. Whatever. So... I'm thinking that she's trying to not make a big thing of the whole eating disorder situation because she is not... Like, she's putting it out there, but she's not really to really confront it, you know? Remember that Jackie Goldschneider did, did kind of, like, the same thing on New Jersey? She talked about it, and she kind of, like, put it out there, but it wasn't until last season that she was really ready to make it a storyline because talking heavily about it is different than just mentioning it, you know? So I'm thinking that that's why she, she doesn't want to go after Erica Jane Hart 
enough for this comment. However, I do think that this comment is what planted the seed on Crystal to think this bitch is wrong, you know? And this bitch is gonna get what she deserves because we know that there will be more confrontation coming between Crystal Minkoff and Erica Jane, you know? So what once was like a, a, a regular friendship or another Beverly Hills friendship, it actually might transform into like, this bitch better be not playing with me, you know? So let's see what is going to happen. I'm really waiting for Crystal to put everything out there, you know, and dust to not be afraid of being loud if she needs to be loud, okay? Because these girls doesn't understand other language, okay? So sometimes I'm hoping that she is going to be able to not let Erica Jane walk all over her. You know what I mean? So anyways, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.